Let me introduce you Motion Cam. The world around you is full of rare events that are almost impossible to catch. You can now witness events that otherwise you would be extremely fortunate to see, like the intimate movements of rare hiding animals that seldom let anyone see them. The motion cam function of webcam laboratory satisfies that instinctive curiosity in you. You can witness events like the behavior of birds or when a spider captures its prey. Using the motion cam you don't have to wait for hours when an exciting rare occasion happens. It's enough to plan and prepare the experiment and motion cam will do the rest. Here is how motion cam works. Choose the webcam you would like to use. Select uh, from the scroll down menu the resolution which should be 320 by 240 and immediately you will see the live feed from the camera. You can use the entire picture or part of the picture for activation of recording. You can see that the dog has been running in front of the camera and activated uh, the sensors. Now the lower slide bar is motion sensitivity here you can set this motion sensitivity which should trigger the recording. The top slide bar is the signal level. Here you can select the activation signal level which will start the recording. Remember you have to have webcam laboratory in a standby mode in order to achieve this. To activate the standby mode you should press the start button. After that you have to Select the compression mode from the list, use the compression that is most suitable for your computer, press OK and the red recording indicator will show in the left hand corner of the picture. Now if this indicator is flashing, like you see right now when the dog entered the screen it started the recording. Now when the recording is being taken it's flashing, when it stops it will stop flashing. Also on the top you will see the frame count, it is the number of frames we have taken and the seconds of the recording that we have taken so far. You can use the entire picture or part of the picture for triggering the recording. You can simply select a certain area within the picture and if you do that only occurrences within that area will actually trigger the recording. If there is no recording for a certain amount of time, the software will automatically save the recording and it will show that with the pop-up window. On the right hand side, immediately the recordings appear. You can select them. After being selected, you can also play them. If you play them, they will appear on the left hand side in the screen. Here you can also play them and also close them and after closing what you can also do is delete the original recording if you don't want to keep it. If you want to exit the standby mode you press the stop button. You will see that on the left hand side the recording indicator will disappear and if you want to start the standby mode again and make the camera able to receive uh, signals and start recording when needed you will have to press the start button again. 